The year 2021 started with an aspiration to visit 108 nays in Bhutan. And we began our count with our visit to Taksang, also known as the Tiger's Nest. Taksang, a place most popular even amongst tourists who visit Bhutan, is one of the most sacred ne in Bhutan. The spot stands as an evidence of the visit of one of the greatest Buddhist master of the 8th century Guru Padma Sambhava. Located in Parodzongka, 45 km from the capital city Thimpu and about 14 km from town in Paro, it is about an hour and a half drive from Thimpu to Taksang base. How much is it? I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Normal pace, Thus have we heard that motivation is the key in the practice of Buddha Dharma. So we took a moment to tune our motivation. May the journey be of benefit to all sentient beings. May the mere virtual sight of Taksang bless and heal your mind. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the to In this book, The History of Bhutan by Dr. Kama Finso, it mentions that Padampa Sangye, the master of meditation practice known as Shije, is said to have left footprints and created a holy spring in Taksang during his visit to Bhutan. On the way, just as we get closer to Taksang, we offer our homage and prostration to the knee that marks the birthplace of late J.K. Shikhetan Rinjan, the 69 Jehempo of Bhutan.
As you climb down the stairs before you reach the little Chotan, there is a diversion that takes you to Machipo. According to the book The History of Bhutan, Machiklabdran, the great teacher of Jew practice, is said to have stayed in Paro, the Machipo cave and spring in Taksang is associated with her. As we approach the Chotan, I'm reminded of an article I read in the third edition of Udambara magazine where Zonsar Jamian Kinsar Rinpoche mentions that as soon as you cross the Chotan, as we step down, he was told by a master that even if we were partially not diluted, we wouldn't find a single spot where we can put our feet. Because in the vision that he had, he saw darkers and darkness letter everywhere, especially darkness letters. Lion Cave, Singapore. This is a cave where Kondro, Rishi Togil practiced Vajra Kilaya, Kurba. After completing our visit to the main shrine, we sat down to recollect the niches, the explanations about the niches that we had received from the Kenya. For those who aren't familiar, one is not allowed to carry phone inside the main shrine in Taksang. The narration you hear next is entirely based on our memory of what we had heard from Kenya. We weren't allowed any devices inside to record, so do bear with us if there are any mistakes. But then again, this gives you all the more reason to visit Taksang. First, we are going to go to So first, we are going to go to the So Guru Dukadi, that's the place where Guru Dukadi and Tashik uh, uh, practiced Vajra Kilaya. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the 8th century mm -hmm. name of in the book The History of Bhutan by Dr. Kama Finso, it is mentioned that Padmasambhava manifests as Guru Doji Trollo, and the tigress on which he writes is often identified with no other than his Bhutanese consort Tashi Kyudin. She is said to be from the Mon region, probably Bumthang or Kurte, and the daughter of a local king named Hangre. As the culmination of this religious meditative practice, Padmasambhava is said to have manifested in the appearance of Doji Trollo, while Tashikyudin, who had already achieved great spiritual heights, transformed herself into tigress. And in this terrifying form of a wrathful deity and a tigress, the duo is believed to have scared the evil forces of the entire Himalayan region into submission. So, I first did the anime guru to come to much. The anale, the yatuka team and a moro, and the other day, anadi. Then after that, then Yajo the Lu, then it is the Lu, then it is the Lu, then it is the so, total, 
When we sat down to recollect the nations given to us by the Kenya, we couldn't remember many of the names and the significance. It made us appreciate the Dharma practitioner and the great Buddhist master of the past. Unlike today, they would have had no technologies to record the teachings and yet they did an amazing job at the preservation and transmission of this wealth of wisdom. However, when it comes to us, we might have made a lot of mistakes. So it is also a genuine request to the viewers that you visit Thaksang for yourself and have all of this information, the Ignatius, validated and verified. Our intention is just to familiarize the viewers with what is there at Thaksang. But we believe that depending on your merit and blessing, you may be able to receive so much more than us. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,